If you look at the first page, at the first page of the press release, flip to, the, flip to the next page, we have a background of some civil disobedience quotes from Dr. King saying, we're not the ones who created the tension. We're just bringing the tension to the surface. There will be people in the media world, in the blogging world, in the internet world that will try and blame us for things that might happen because of the things that we have said. The accusation is absurd. And the history of its absurdity is seen on this page with quotes from Dr. King, quotes from John F. Kennedy. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable. You can look at Abraham Lincoln who said, and I quote, if God wills that the Civil War continue until all the wealth piled up by the bondsmen's 250 years of unrequited toil shall be sunk, and every drop of blood drawn by the lash shall be paid by another drawn with the sword, as it were said 3,000 years ago, so it must still be said today, the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Abraham Lincoln believed, as did many Americans, that the Civil War was the judgment of God for 250 years of slavery. Now people today would say, oh, Abraham Lincoln is sowing the seeds of violence and discord by his statements. It's absurd. We all believe in the law of reaping and sowing. Some, some people call it karma. Some people call it you got what you deserved. Some people say you got what you dished out. I don't care what framework you set it in. Next page. Very important page, especially for the Catholics of this country. John Paul II could not have been clear in Evangelium Vitae, abortion is murder, and that civil disobedience is one option to resisting this evil. You go ahead and look through each and every one of these quotes. This is the teaching of the church. First of all, first quote, he calls it murder. Next quote, he says that we cannot take an action, either by its very nature, in the form it takes in a concrete situation, that would be direct participation in an act against an innocent human life, or sharing in the immoral intention of the person committing it. This cooperation can never be justified, either by invoking requests for the freedom of others, or by appealing to the fact that civil law permits it or requires it. That's number 74 in Evangelium Vitae. There are Catholics that are going to be saying, Oh, render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. We have to pay for our neighbor's murder because Caesar said so. No. You are not allowed to say, well, it's the law, and therefore I have to help kill somebody. And his next quote is actually quite astounding. And he talks about, it's actually quote number four, he says, he talks about when a parliament or a social majority makes it legal to kill unborn life, aren't they making a tyrannical decision? And then he talks about the tyrants of the 20th century and says, if what they did was legitimized by a democratic majority, would it cease to be a crime? If people voted in Russia, yes, let's kill all the people in the gulags in Siberia. Let's kill by starvation the Georgians or the Ukrainians. Would it therefore be okay because, oh, it was voted on by democracy? Read the quotes of JP2 if you want to see the fight that's going to happen within the Catholic Church. And then the last two pages are letters that we wrote for people to send to their senators and to the bishops in their state. You can see that program on Operation, I'm sorry, OverturnRow.com. If you go to OverturnRow.com, we've set up a fax system by which somebody can mail, fax a letter to both of their senators, every single office in the state, as well as every single Catholic bishop in the state, urging them. To, to forsake their insane plans. If the Obama administration and Pelosi and Reid go through with this, they will only have themselves to blame for the chaos and the convulsions that follow from the planting of this evil seed. Ma'am. Um, if there is a compromise introduced to the um, proposed health care legislation and abortion ends up being excluded from the plan, would that change? I, I personally am opposed to the health care plan. I believe it's theft. 
I despise socialism and communism. But there is a difference ethically between them stealing money from me to pay for grandma's operation or them stealing money from me to blow someone's brains out, as in abortion. So it would not have the same ethical weight if it passes without child killing. I'm personally opposed to it no matter what. But with child killing in it, you run the risk of, of a national disaster.